I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday, October the 12th, brought to you in part by Macrocin by Bimeda, which is a telethromycin injection. To see how Macrocin stacks up against the much more expensive Pioneer products in a 4,600 head trial, go to macrocin.com. Bottom side support not just on the futures but we did see impressive strength on the futures market on Wednesday uh, it was kind of a, a nice showing there and it was it was technical too showed some signs that maybe we have some legs under this thing to uh, to gain some more ground it was oversold so it's nice to see it gain back some impressive amounts there on Wednesday uh, we're hoping for a November seasonal rally which we normally see and uh, your Packers were aggressive even though they bought a lot of cash negotiated cattle or I say a lot a lot for this day and time uh, but had a pretty decent movement last week even despite that we still uh, heard of major Packers uh, that were calling for cattle that they would bought with time on them they were calling for cattle this week uh, so they're pretty close to the knife they were also aggressive trying to buy cattle. We saw significant movement for the second week in a row in the Southern Plains, and it's already happened. It happened on Wednesday with prices a buck higher. That wasn't just the board guys. That They're needing cattle. Uh, we still haven't seen a significant trade in the Northern Plains, but it appears that it's going to be at least steady and probably a little bit higher there too, and that's why we haven't seen the, the trade break loose yet as a uh, the cattle feeders in the northern plains they're holding tight uh, with 184 dollar bids on wednesday uh, there feels like that there needs to be an increase in production uh, by these big packers to get some product on the shelves for the big holiday season rush uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, people having uh, you know holiday parties christmas parties things like that uh, they'll be needing a lot of uh, rib rolls for that uh, going to be hitting your big steakhouses uh, leading up to the holiday season and we really see that hot holiday season demand several weeks before the holiday not just because we have to get that product uh, processed and, and on the shelves but for that uh, pre-season demand that we see where like I say we see a lot of uh, parties and things like that that people are are interested in, in eating beef but uh, cash feeders are bouncing too. We've seen them kind of in a free fall, not not big time, but I mean we've just seen uh, loss after loss after loss for about three weeks here, going on three weeks in your cash feeder cattle auctions. Uh, we saw an impressive sale at OKC West in El Reno, Oklahoma. Uh, that that uh, was was pretty uh, in, encouraging there. That we saw uh, your pretty significant gains. Uh, on your feeder cattle, on your bigger feeder cattle uh, at El Reno after last week's stiff losses that we saw there but gained most of that back. But uh, you know, you wonder how these people are, are continuing to buy these cattle. Hey, they better get them bought up before these farmer feeders come in in a big rush whenever they get done with harvest here. Uh, we've seen that they're about a third of the way through corn harvest and uh, whenever they get done with that, a lot of them will be putting cattle back in uh, their farmer feeder lots there at their at their own place uh, and uh, and they will go after the cattle uh, and they won't be worried about the price uh, and you think well these cattle don't pencil out well if you put the pencil to them especially these middleweights that I've been talking about on much cheaper corn uh, you know and you're thinking well it's still going to cost you with, with higher inputs with this inflation it's still going to cost you a buck a pound to put that on. Well, whenever those pounds that you're putting on are worth close to $2 a pound, uh, you can cheapen those cattle up pretty quick. <coughs> and we're seeing uh, that people are realizing that uh, in addition to the LRPs and some of the uh, not new but kind of newly discovered risk management tools that are out there, uh, a lot of people are getting excited about feeding cattle again. Uh, don't forget about our punching pick of the month contest. Uh, we're about halfway through the month here, so we'll be, we'll be rounding those up. We've been getting a lot of cool ones this month. If you get a punchy pick, uh, punchy pick out in your daily activities, 
uh, you know, uh, just handling cattle or whatever you're doing, uh, snap a shot of it with your cell phone, send it to punchy at nationalbeefwire.com automatically enters you in to the contest and, and you'll be uh, vying for the big prize which includes uh, a lot of really cool swag from Beaver Feed Company in Beaver, Oklahoma, uh, Beaver County Stockyards there in Beaver, Oklahoma, and then of course the, the grand prize is the whole case of Fair Piece, uh, the revolutionary product that a lot of people are discovering. Just a topical product, it's, it's easy to apply, uh, and uh, it really, really calms those cattle down. Uh, whether you're, you're weaning them there on the place or whether you're bringing shipped in cattle in or buying cattle that haven't been weaned uh, or maybe just cattle that are under a lot of stress. It just it just settles that anxiety on them. It gets them to eating and drinking and, and it keeps them from getting quite so sick. So uh, stay tuned at the conclusion of this video for a fair piece of, of video that I will attach to the end of this feeder flash video. Let's talk about your board for Wednesday and I told you how impressive it was and this is how impressive. October live cattle futures were up $1.92 at $184.50. Well, we'll we're well in uh, the spot contract month here so uh, your cash is going to have to stick kind of close to that or people will start uh, tending for delivery. Uh, these cattle feeders and, and we saw like I said in the southern plains a dollar higher at 183 uh, with your board at, at 184.50 it costs about a buck and a half expenses to deliver those so we're just about flush right there and I assume the northern plains will trade a little bit higher than that December live cattle up a dollar 97 at 186.97 and your back months were all up from 85 cents to up a dollar 92 Feeder cattle futures for October up 222 at 25017. Back trading at a premium to the index levels. November feeder cattle up a buck sixty-five at two fifty-two smooth. Your back months are all up big from a dollar two to $1.45. dollar forty-five. Uh, new crop December corn up two and a half cents a bushel at four eighty-eight at the end of regular trading. Uh, November new crop beans down 19 cents at 12.52 and a half. Kansas City hard red winter wheat for December down four cents at 6.67 and a quarter. We did see fat cattle trade uh, on a negotiated basis in your five area feeding region. Like I said, not too much in the northern plains, but heavy movement in the southern plains. Iowa sold 1,500 head confirmed. That was up through two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. I'm feeling that we traded quite a few more cattle after that 2 o'clock deadline when we saw the 184 bids come in, but most of them were passing the 184 bids, but we did have a few confirmed sales early on Wednesday in Iowa from 182 to 183 live. Nebraska just a hundred head at 183. Not sure how many cattle the 184 broke loose, maybe some western Nebraska cattle we're hearing. Uh, at 184 but uh, uh, we're just not seeing the dress bids really raise up you know most of your packers that were bidding 288 and and your northern feeders were passing that but in Kansas they sold 9,000 head on Wednesday before 2 o'clock in the afternoon gonna be more than that it was 182 to almost all 183 so that's a buck higher Texas sold 9400 head uh, and, and it's just amazing to me that now all of a sudden we're starting to see some trade that amounts to something in Texas. Uh, we went week after week after week without them selling as much as five or six thousand a total through the week and on Wednesday they sell 9400. Price was uh, 182 to mostly all 183 and that was a buck higher also. Also saw a brick and mortar fat cattle auction in the Northern Plains. Sioux Falls Regional Livestock in Worthing, South Dakota had a pretty decent run of fat cattle. They sold two to three dollars higher than last week at the same sale. Conventional cattle in Worthing, South Dakota bring from 179 to 184 with some program either drug free or non-implanted cattle trading from 180 to 187. Box beef cutout values lower again, not big but still just, just really having a tough time uh, gaining much ground on your box beef cutout values. 
Choice cuts on Wednesday afternoon were down $0.78 cents at $300.28. Selects were down $0.85 cents at two seventy-five thirty. Your slaughter is kind of hanging in there. 379,000 estimated harvest through the first three days of the week. That's 4,000 more than last week at the same point. 4,000 less than the same point uh, a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. Livestock Risk Services with Dakota Moss, they're your LRP specialist, guys. Uh, talk to you about him guy, uh, adding some new uh, agents and, and starting to feature those agents more as Dakota uh, is getting busier and busier and is, has really been successful there. And he's, uh, he's able to help people in any major cattle production area. It's not just Oklahoma and Arkansas, guys. But uh, for more information or any questions that you have, Check out any of these agents at Livestock Risk Services or go to LivestockRiskServices.com for more information. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction late in the day on Wednesday, setting at 244.66, down but not as much as we've seen uh, in a daily movement. It was down 28 cents. Uh, CME cash feeder cattle index 249.79 still trading at a big premium to the RTI but back under 250 your big sales on Wednesday of course I mentioned it earlier and how they saw big gains at OKC West El Reno Oklahoma DV auction broadcaster there they sold feeder steers steady to three bucks higher feeder heifers four to eight dollars higher rebounding most all of last week's stiff losses there uh, the weaned calves sold fully steady to $3 higher. Unweaned or short weaned calves, of course, that's just the story because of the time of year it is. Uh, they sold with a lower undertone on top of the discounts that they'd already been carrying. Uh, winter livestock in Dodge City, Kansas, 3,400 head. Uh, the feeder steers there were 4 to $7 lower, but they haven't had a really good test of big uh, feeder steers in Dodge for a few weeks there. but lower feeder heifers two to five bucks lower uh, weaned reputation calves and they're starting their calf specials at the winter livestock barns weaned reputation calves sold eight to ten higher unweaned ballers eight to ten lower getting to be a sizable discount on those guys uh, one uh, pretty impressive quote out of Dodge City on Wednesday was 106 steers weighed 711 at 264.75 Bassett, Nebraska, Bassett Livestock Auction had a sale on Wednesday, 4,500 head. Uh, the heavy feeders uh, were lower than the last good tested market there, which is uh, not a surprise because uh, they, they didn't, you know, when we're, when we're seeing a bounce back, you got to have a really good test the previous week to really uh, be able to measure that uh, in a good way there. But heavy feeders were lower than the last time they were tested well. And we saw the first test of spring calves in Bassett, Nebraska. Most all of them coming in unweaned but with shots. And uh, Bassett was your national beef wire stick out sale of the day. Check out this automated uh, auction market report from Cattle Market Central here. You see your best tested weights out of Bassett, Nebraska. 358 head of five weight steers averaged 552 with a weighted average price on all of them of 310.28, 643 head of eight weight steers averaged 856, weighted average price 250.255, and 1131 head of nine weight yearling steers in Bassett. And this will kind of start to clean those up, guys. The average 949, weighted average price 245.12, very impressive there. Check out some well-tested weight groups of heifers, 237 head of seven weight heifers, average 749 at 240, 51, 785 head of eight weight heifers, averaged 855, weighted average price 235, 34, and 276 head of nine weight heifers in Bassett, Nebraska, average 920 uh, with an average price of 225.19. Give you some impressive uh, individual quotes from around. How about Torrington Livestock Markets in Torrington, Wyoming? They sell 88 steers, weigh 631 
at three dollars a pound very impressive another Wyoming market how about Buffalo livestock auction in Buffalo Wyoming they sell 106 light steer calves weigh 470 at 359 but the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Wednesday your Macrosin no BS top quote for the day come out of another long time DV auction broadcasted market Hub City Livestock in Aberdeen South Dakota they sell six loads of black steers off the grass they average 940 pounds at two dollars and fifty cents a pound and that's your feeder flash for Thursday